Rice, Oriva sativa, belongs to the tropics and it is generally grown in wet or waterlogged areas. Today, Nigeria is the largest producer of rice in the West African region. Rice requires a growing period of 110 to 180 days with a temperature range of 20 to 30 degrees. Because of its high water requirement, it is better grown in heavy clay soils that have high water retention capacity. This water requirement varies with the stage of development of the crop. While the juvenile stage and the adult stage need just enough water for normal growth, the peak of water requirement is at the reproductive stage. Land preparation. And for uh, you can see the field the way it is. In uh, in rice farming, it needs the field need to be in this way. The rice the rice have to be planted on a flat land, not a hilly land, not a rocky land, and that is why this land has been prepared. Preparations of the of the of the of the field, uh, land clearings, and also the moving of the syrups and the trees has already been done. And also be after that, then the plowing of the land has also uh, been taking place and before the harrow then and then the seed and uh, after the seeding uh, between that 10 to uh, two weeks uh, one to, 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 to two weeks we the basic application of fertilizer is also okay it's also been uh, done here lamp preparation methods differ for the paddy and the upland rice for the upland rice, land preparation begins with the clearing and construction of embankment on all sides of the field, which must be made level as much as possible, so as to hold impounded water. The field is then ploughed, harrowed, and puddled in order to minimize deep percolation losses of water, ease transplanting, reduce incidence of weeds, and incorporate oxygen into the top section of the soil. Puddling is only essential for transplanted paddy. Where sowing is direct, the practice is irrelevant. The soil is simply ploughed and harrowed to put it into a fine tilt. Lamp preparation for upland rice requires less elaborate lamp preparation. The land is cleared, the trash and stumps are removed, and the soil is finally ploughed and harrowed at the onset of the rains. Rice is propagated by seeds. The upland varieties have been recommended for areas with adequate rainfall. These are early maturing. For the lowland production, other varieties are required, and these have late maturing varieties. Disease control. Major diseases include blast, brown spot, and green discoloration. This can be controlled by the following. 1. Use disease resistant and tolerant varieties to blast. 2. Use good cultural practices to limit blast infection. High nitrogen associated with low potassium increases blasts. It is therefore better to apply nitrogen in more than one application. This can help you reduce blasts. 3. Use clean, healthy seeds. If possible, treat the seeds 1 to 2 days before planting to control seed-borne pathogens. In areas prone to fungal disease, spray detain TMM45 at 1 kg or Benlit TM at 1.5 kg per hectare in 500 liters of water to control blast, brown spots, and green discoloration. If the damage is severe, spray again after 15 days. Planting method. Broadcasting is a way of planting direct onto the field, especially in areas where labor is expensive. The danger in this practice is that rice seeds do not germinate in flooded soil because of lack of oxygen. In areas with cheap human level, 
transplanting from a nursery is practically mostly in paddy production. Transplanting is done manually at a spacing of 30 by 30 cm. Closer spacing will help to smooth the weeds and suppress tillering until wider spacing will encourage tillering and more weed incidents. Planting dates. Since we practice under uh, what we call the rain felt, the second week of June, you need to monitor the rain. If the rain has established, you seed your rice for you to have uh, the best yield. And also, second week or first or second week of July, also you can uh, seed your rice in this very area in order to have the best uh, established, established rice. For the upland varieties, planting is done as soon as the rains have stabilized. Planting of paddy is, however, not time dependent as long as adequate water for the irrigation is available.